Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. This will be using Hong Kong old style scoring. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. Basically, you need to get four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. And then the ending combination of all those sets will determine your score. I'm going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round. So I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. Here's my wind of the round indicator. We're going to start with east and I'm going to roll the dice to see which seat I'm in. I rolled a five. So we're just going to say that I am seat one, which is east. So it's east round and I'm in east seat. And we're going to say that there's a two fawn minimum for this. Two fawn minimum. So if I'm the dealer, I get to have 14 tiles. So here would be my starting hand. No flowers. But I do have some honors, including a pair of west. If there's a two fawn minimum, I think I probably would play, yikes. We got quite a mixture here. So east is the wind of the round. We have singles and dragons, a pair of wests, four dots, four bams, and a couple of cracks. I think what I would do is get rid of the cracks first. Then I would get rid of the nine and then the five because this could potentially be a chow. If I pair up one of these dragons, that could be a fawn for me. And at this point I have no flowers. No flowers is one fawn. That could be my two fawn. And it would depend really on the pick and discard whether or not I'm able to get that flower. So it's going to be a risky move to plan on all chows with no flowers or a pung of dragons. This is not a good starting hand. It's going to be a rough go. If all dots come in, then we could play a half flush or all bams, whichever one. We have two tiles to discard to see which one comes in. That's going to be a rough start. So let's see which seat we're in for the next one. I rolled a two. Two is south. South, and it's south round. So we get 13 tiles for being a non-dealer. There's our tiles. Let's see what we have. We're in south seat, two fawn minimum. We have two honors, including our seat wind. If we can get a pair of that and then pung it, that can be a fawn right there. Okay, ooh, there's a pair of ones. Okay, this is gonna be a challenge. Another challenging hand here because we have no flowers, that's a fawn, but we need another fawn somewhere. We only have one pair and it is not with our major suit. We have more bams than anything. We could play a half flesh, which is three fawn, or if we get pairs, we could play all pung, mixed suits, that would be three fawn. If during the picking and discarding, we pick up either a south or a red, we could potentially get a fawn for our pung of those. I would start by discarding these and then I would discard these. Hold these as long as possible, potentially switching to a pung hand. Pung again is a three of a kind, all three of a kind. Rough start for that player also. Okay, we're gonna now go to west round and I rolled a nine. Nine is east. We are in east seat and it is west round.
as the dealer we get 14 tiles here's what we have to work with bam we have our seat flower that's one fawn right there so that's a good tile we're going to draw a replacement we have bams cracks dots honors including a pair of the seat flower this is going to be a nice hand so we have our own flower that's a fawn we have a pair of the seat flower if we're one player one is east if we had a pung of east that's a fawn that would be our two fawn right there but we also have four bams including a pair and a potential chow we just need to pair up in here or maybe draw a couple of bams and then get rid of these tiles right here right away so this is a a good outlook for this particular random pull half flush seat wind own flower they could even play all chows here with a pung of their seat wind maybe that's what i would do here all chow seat flower right here and seat wind so that would be um, one fawn for the east and one a pung of east and one fawn for the flower that would be a two fawn hand if I drew into bams and honors I'd go ahead and sacrifice those depending on how things go at the table if somebody's playing a quick hand like an all chow hand I might go ahead and do the same thing and use these right here but if people are playing pung hands maybe um, honors I might go ahead and sacrifice those and go for a bigger hand that would be a fun hand to see through okay let's play north round this time we're in seat seven which is west We get 13 tiles for being non-dealer. No flowers, which is a fawn, but the minute you draw a flower, if it's not your flower, you lose that fawn. So don't bank on that. We do have four single honors, which is not necessarily a good thing. okay so far no flowers is one fawn i think what i would do here let's just count the honors honors are dragons and flowers and then ones and nines we have one two three four five six seven eight we could try for 13 orphans 13 orphans is one of each one and nine one of each wind and dragon and any tile paired so what i would do here anytime i get seven tiles towards 13 orphans i go for it if you don't play it you can't win it so go for it that's my motto i would play either 13 orphans or half flesh get rid of these first Write in the comment section what you think about random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. I think it's a great exercise to get to know all the different scoring elements. Playing though with other people, that's when you really learn because the pick and discard part of the game really can turn your hand on a dime, which is what makes this game so fun to play. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. When you click subscribe, click that bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any of these exercises that might give you some ideas for strategy and maybe some insights into the game that will give you an advantage at the table.
Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.